After spending some time with Orlando Duque in Colombia, Jonathan Paredes is ready for the big final. And assuming Jonathan Paredes lands up and down, gets on his feet, he will win the competition and he will also win the entire Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Winning the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series in 2017, making my dream come true. At 28 years of age, Jonathan Paredes has reached the pinnacle of his sport. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is unbelievable. But the story didn't end there. It had just begun. I feel pressure the whole time, and to retain the title, it will be a fight. My goal for 2018, be the champion again. September, Jonathan Paredes is on his way to the last World Series stop in Italy. A demanding season will come to an end. Going on the way to the airport, um, full of emotions and feelings, you know, it will be the last stop of the year. And Jonathan still has a chance to win the 2018 championship. Of course, I wanted to finish on, on a good way. I knew it would be tough, but I was feeling very okay, to be honest, because um, on my head it was like, there is nothing to lose, there is a lot to win. And he brings with him hope, in the form of good memories from last year's season finish. I came here to Italy thinking about like kind of the same than, than Chile. In 2017, Paredes won the World Series title after an uncharacteristic mistake by six-time champion Gary Hunt. I knew that would be impossible in somehow. Everybody's a human and everybody does mistakes. Practice day in Italy. Jonathan's shoulder is heavily taped. He couldn't practice the days before the event it's the same problem he had in Texas at the start of the season. <laughs> but with the help of tour physio Angie, he tries to get in shape for the competition. I never had problems with my shoulders at all. I don't know if it's a matter of age, <laughs> you know, that I'm 29 now. Angie obviously was the one who was helping me the whole year. It's not an excuse, but obviously, you know, when you have a problem, you're not feeling 100% at all. And for me, obviously, it was a little bit uncomfortable to deal with. Jonathan dives through the pain. His reward, the lead after day one. Not for the first time this season. I will deserve I think a prize to be the one leading the competitions most of the times, you know. But he needs to keep that lead to the end this time for the win and for the title. As darkness falls in Polignano Amare, he takes one last chance to relax before the big final. Walking through the city with Noelia, obviously the hope was really high and try to forget about Diving for at least for a night, it helped us a lot. And um, obviously I was feeling really, really confident and with a lot of hope to make this happen. Jonathan starts the final day with his new dive. Back triple somersaults with three twists. He only learned the dive this summer. Will it take him to back-to-back -to -back championships? A powerful takeoff a controlled flight, but he misses the entry. Probably the pressure inside of myself or probably something else, I don't know, I just missed my dive and I was crying because I was really angry with myself. You know, I, I was telling to myself that this couldn't happen for a second time like in Bosnia. 
I was asking myself like why, why again, why this mistake again. I think that was the time when I said to myself, this is, this is done, this is not gonna happen. And um, all my hopes for this competition went very down. Disappointment, but for the first time this weekend, no pressure. Proving why he is a World Series champion, his final dive is outstanding. Among the scores, a perfect 10. Obviously the pressure was gone and I was just hoping for a finish the year in a good way. I'm done, thanks for everything. As a person and as a human, I know everybody wants to do their best in life. You know, um, if you want to be a doctor, you want to be the best one. If you want to be an athlete, you want to be the best one. So I think today I finished my World Series as I had to do it. With the third place in Italy, Jonathan secured third place overall still smiling like a champion and looking to the future. It's the end of the World Series, um, but I think this is not the end. I will keep chasing my dream and this is just the beginning of something new.